history of the first civilizations is full of great events and mysteries that arouse the curiosity of many. Many wonder how it was possible for human beings to evolve so rapidly compared to other species that had already existed on our planet. Ancient peoples, through their religions, have tried to offer answers about the creation of the world and the odd creative capacity of humanity. Perhaps the answer to this dilemma can be found in the text written by what was the first organized civilization in history, the Sumerians. The Sumerian civilization emerged in Mesopotamia around 4500 BC. Over time, it was responsible for building large cities and creating the first system of writing, known as cuneiform writing, on clay tablets. During archaeological excavations in 1849 in Iraq, 14 clay tablets with Sumerian writings were found. The translation of the text revealed one of the most fantastic stories of all time, the story of the Anunnaki gods. According to the Sumerian manuscripts, there is a planet at the ends of the solar system called Nibiru. Every 3,600 years, it enters an orbit close to the planet Earth. Nibiru was the home planet of the Anunnaki, who were experiencing difficulties because the climate and atmosphere of the planet were changing rapidly, making it difficult to produce food and therefore to survive. It was necessary to use advanced methods of technology, alchemy, and magic to reverse this situation. To do so, a large amount of gold was needed, since this metal has purifying properties capable of resisting even cosmic radiation. However, gold was a rare resource in Nibiru, and without other alternatives, the Anunnaki used their advanced technology and sent ships into space in search of the precious golden metal. After a long and tiring search, they arrived on planet Earth about 445,000 years ago, where they were the first astronauts to cross space and colonize another planet. The planet Earth was inhabited only by wild animals such as mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and some apes. The Anunnaki settled in Mesopotamia and built a wonderful city called Iridu. In this city, there was a splendorous garden full of fruit trees and animals. The garden created by the Anunnaki was named Eden and the first favorite place of the astronaut gods. Shortly after, gold extraction began in underground mines. To do the heavy tasks, they brought with them slaves from another alien race, the Igigi. After years of forced labor and humiliation, the Igigi rebelled against the Anunnaki, giving rise to the first war on Earth. The Igigi were defeated and decimated. The Anunnaki needed new workers. The solution was to create a new race of intelligent beings, able to work, but more harmless than the Igigi. The Anunnaki combined their genes with the ancestors of human beings, creating a hybrid and submissive race at their command. Not go very well at first. Strange beings came to life, like the Nephilim giants, which, although extraordinarily strong, were devoid of intelligence and self control. The first man to emerge from this successful genetic combination was named Adamu. Compared to human beings, the Anunnaki were incredibly tall and strong, and their weapons would be more than enough to control another possible rebellion. Over time, humans developed the ability to speak and learn from the Anunnaki, to take care of plantations and build houses made of clay and stone. The Anunnaki came to like human beings. They even allowed them to live in their city and attend the sacred garden, but gave explicit orders not to reproduce too much. Against the will of the gods, human beings began to procreate quickly, which caused overpopulation in the city. Many people were expelled from Eden and Iridu and condemned to live in exile in wild lands. After a few millennia, the planet Nibiru approached the Earth again. Nibiru's gravitational field was so strong that it adversely affected the Earth's natural conditions. There was an increase in the temperature of the planet, and the glaciers melted, rapidly raising the level of the oceans and causing constant rain. A great flood ravaged the Earth, and the city of Iridu was doomed to submerge. To save their creation, the Anunnaki created large boats that floated for days to normal water level. In this part, it is not clear whether the boats floated on the water or whether the boats were ships hovering in the sky. 
After their city was destroyed, the Anunnaki decided to return to Nibiru. But before they left, they gave human beings knowledge of architecture, mathematics, music, and writing. They also taught them how to establish a monarchy system, where some leaders kept their bloodline inherited for the Anunnaki pure with the right to command others. They also ordered the construction of temples known as ziggurats, aligned with the constellations. These would one day guide the Anunnaki back to Earth. The Sumerian texts do not determine how many Anunnaki there are, but they quote some as the main ones. The most powerful deity in Sumerian mythology was An or Anu, according to Akkadian calligraphy. Anu was the personification of heaven and possessed infinite wisdom. He was the oldest and most venerable of the gods, with sanctuaries in almost all Sumerian cities. The goddess Ki represented the earth and Anu's wife. The union between Anu and Ki gave birth to Anunnaki, a word that can be translated as children of heaven and earth. The first Anunnaki was Enlil, lord of the air, winds, storms, and responsible for keeping heaven and earth at a safe distance. Enki was the mighty god of the oceans and rivers, the patron of the city of Iridu. Later, his cult reached other peoples such as the Canaanites, Hittites, and Horites. The moon also had a ruler, Nana, worshipped as a god of wisdom and curiosity, responsible for teaching scientific and astronomical concepts to human beings. The god Utu was the personification of the sun and defender of justice, truth, and morality. Utu traveled through the heavens in his sacred carriage, emitting a brilliance capable of illuminating the world. The goddess Inanna was Utu's twin sister and goddess of fertility war and political power, also called the Heavenly Queen. She was one of the most cultured goddesses of Mesopotamia, adopted by Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians under the name of Ishtar. The cult of the Anunnaki was shared by many Mesopotamian peoples, adding new stories and divinities with the advancement of time, but always maintaining a very detailed essence. The history of the Anunnaki, written by the Sumerians, is full of scientific and astronomical references, very advanced for the time in which they were written. The knowledge is still one of the greatest mysteries of humanity.